And I just closed my eyes and I said, God, please. I'm just holding one whole muscle, right? And the rep ain't calling. Like, rep, call it. Shit, call it. Like, call this. As a human being, he's not supposed to move like that. <laughs> you saying Shaq? That's Shaq. Everybody in here is supposed to say oh, Shaq. Uh, in, in your ear, what was it like having to guard a guy like Shaq? Impossible. <laughs> When you talk about a player, you will feel like you'll lose your life if you play against him. A prime Shaquille O'Neal is the first player I think of. This man was a physical specimen. He was one of the few players that they had to change the rules because of him. I have never seen teams that would get a big man, and it doesn't matter how bad they were. They just had to be big bodies to slow down Shaq. I'm serious, there are big men who owe their whole NBA careers to Shaq. He was that terrifying. You had to have at least two to three big guys ready to go when Shaq is in the post. And even then, he will still dunk it over them and completely crush them. That's the thing that made Shaq one of the most dominant forces in NBA history, which is that most legends will pass it out of a double team. But Shaq is still looking for a way to slam it over two players before kicking out to one of his teammates for an open shot. But what really made him such a nightmare to guard was that he was 7'1", well over 300 pounds, and had amazing footwork in a post and a drop step that was almost impossible possible to stop. And to add to that, a little hook shot just in case everything fails. I always wonder what Shaq will be with a Kobe-like mindset with his talent. It was already a scary sight to begin with, but it will be a sight that you do not want to see. So I will show you NBA legends and players sharing stories of what made Shaq terrifying and a mix of stories that will make you laugh. So enjoy the video, man. 2002 finals, Shaq mm -hmm. and Kobe. You guys run no. through the East yes. and you guys run into them. What was it like? There was one picture, I think, in that finals where Shaq was dunking on everybody on the team at one time. <laughs> Absolutely. In one video. Bro. That is the, one of the best pitches in sports Ever. history. In NBA history, dog. Like steel shots, that's one of the best pitches mm -hmm. ever. How tough were they, though? Huh? How tough were they in their bag, huh? though? <laughs> <laughs> dog, it's... But you were someone you had to guard. You you were, you were a rare person who could guard Shaq, and you had to guard you had to guard yeah, both of them at times. Yeah, I was the roamer. I was the double guy because it fit like weight wise. Yeah. I can do nothing yeah. with that dude. If mm -hmm. I did get caught on him, all I had to do was try to front him, mm -hmm. and he just pushed me up the lane. They throw the bitch. How over strong the top. was he? Impossible to guard. Impossible. Yeah. Listen, man. So you pick your poison. Do you try to play him straight up? You know what he gonna do. Eat. Do you double? Swing, swings. Now you got now now you got Derek Fisher going four for seven, Ori. Robert Ory going two for five, mm -hmm. Devin George going two for five. Like it's just pick your poison. What do you, so then what do you do? And then you got the other animal that one on one is destroying us. <laughs> Everybody in the world. He averaged Shaq averaging thirty six. He averaging twenty six. Whatever. Like dude, it was impossible. Oh, I caught O five Shaq. I didn't catch. I, I didn't caught catch. O, I caught o, o 01 Shaq, bro. I caught 05 Shaq. And like you look at video and you're like, damn, he's so big. As a human being, he's not supposed to move like that. He I was playing in New York, right? We're up. I know he probably went out the night before, so I'm like, I'm not gonna say shit. Right? I'm gonna just let this game go by. Third quarter comes and he's doing okay. They're down six. He looks at me, he's like, okay, good game, little fry. We got to win this now. It just, <laughs> boom, and it basically fucks me up for the whole quarter. <laughs> like, there's no fouling. There's no, like, imagine yeah. trying to foul a tree moving like a cat and just dunk after hook shot after dunk. It's just impossible to move a human that big and that he's mean. Peak Shaq, I just, I just, you know, I don't know what you can do, really. Bro, you pray. Um, so when he was in Phoenix, um, the big cactus, bro, he was he was rolling down the lane, and I rotated over to take a charge. Oh. And when I got there, He's heavy I, I had already point. made the commitment, and I just closed my eyes and I said, "God, please!" And he hit me and he fell on top of me, but you know it just didn't hurt. I was like surprised, like boom. And I opened my eyes and he looking right at me. He was like, "You lucky you from Jersey." <laughs> Other than that, I would have killed you. <laughs> he like looking dead on top. He like, you lucky you from Jersey. I was like, thank, thank you, big fella. <laughs> but guarding Shaq was it, it was impossible, bro. But you know, when you, when I'm guarding him, we gotta double team him. So it's just like I'm just holding him, holding him up as much as I can. And this was my Golden State days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We play small ball, mm -hmm. so that means now he gotta guard me on the. Yeah, you're like end. the big guy on the team. You guy. know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? So, uh, but we had success. Like I said, we beat him every time. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Shaq, uh, Shaq was a low, bro.
But with the Shaq shit, there was no fucking guarding him. And I, Dre, Dre, Draymond, you're my boy. And they talk, oh, we bring his ass up and shit, pick and roll. Dre, I love your defense. Like he is, a, like the way he has played defense has really changed the game. The ability, his, bro, you were not going in 002, you were not fucking with Shaq, bro. You had, they changed how you had to construct your roster. You had to have two or three bigs just for fucking fouls. Not like good bigs. We just need bigs there. We need big bodies. He has been the most dominant player in the history of the game of basketball, period. They're not LeBron, not Steph, not Magic, MJ. Like Shaq physically was the most dominant player we have ever seen, like maybe will ever see because of his sheer size, athleticism, skill, footwork, hands, everything. Which Nelson and Donnie had the idea, okay, you're going to guard Shaq. And I kind of looked at him and I was like, okay, is this a joke? I mean, the game starts right away. He, of course, kind of seals me. I get around, Lob comes, Sean comes. He basically elbows us both out of the way and dunks it as hard as he could. Of course, the plan didn't work at all. So that was that was my Shaq story. I tried to guard him and uh, he ended, he left the game with 46 and probably 24 or something. the last time you guarded him. <laughs> yeah, that was the only time I ever guarded Shaq. Okay. I'm 6'9", he's 7'2". Yeah. I'm three, at the time, three, I'm three, two and a quarter. Time, yeah. two, between 225 and 230, I'm playing at. Yeah. Was he like, was 100 he? pounds more than me? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what yeah. I'm going to do? Yeah. Got great hands, got good feet, I'm strong. Yeah. Ain't that strong. I'm saying to stop him from going where he wants to. I can play games, pull a chair at times, mm-hmm, and all mm-hmm. that stuff, but. But just overall, pure physicality, no, it's, you know it's, what I mean? It, it ain't going to happen. A number of bigs that were hard to guard, Shaq, uh, was um, damn, near, damn near unstoppable. Here's Shaq. Look out! He was uh, one of the strongest players I ever played against. But the way you try to play Shaq is not physical. If you play physical, he's going to destroy you. At the closest ever, and it wasn't directed at me, it was a different position, that I saw where maybe guys were a little bit more nervous lacing up. I think we're going to say who? Was Shaq. Because Shaq wouldn't just, you know, go out there and, and, and outplay and dominate you statistically, like whatever. He also could potentially put you on some sort of video mm. clip that could last a lifetime, right? So Chris could, Dudley. Right. And I listen, and by the way, Shaq, uh, second year in the league, maybe he's in Orlando. I'm in Dallas. He, you know, that was the leaner Shaq, but picks up a loose ball in the middle of the lane. I'm the closest guy to him. And even then it was, you know, don't let this guy get layups and dunks, chop him. He starts to rise up, and I, and I just swung down as hard as I could across both forearms, and he just he kept going like full strength, and I'm feeling kind of like my body starting to go upward, in like in an upward motion, <laughs> like where you're, you're thinking like he's take about to take me off the ground, and you know you you release and let go, so that that's the closest I saw like in the locker room, the dudes that had to deal with him, maybe a little bit more nervous that night, but no. And I played against a lot of Hall of Famers in my spot. I never felt fear, like, you know, more of an adrenaline excitement, actually, to play against those guys than anything. And so it's like Shaq is the one guy because he was so you're looking at him like the fear that you might get is he's doing that full speed thing. Am I really going to try and take a charge on right, this? Right. The most dominant big man. What the best big man ever Kareem. of all time. Kareem. Kareem. See, you can't say Kareem, said, first of all, because you don't know nothing about no Kareem. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's the what politically. What I just said when y'all asked me for my top five. I'm saying play. Shaq then. I ain't saying nothing. Like, this dude right here, man. I remember we was playing them. Man, Steve, you're a historian with this thing, man. You look up the game. It was a regular season game. And I remember they threw it to him. And I tried to foul him before he was going up. and jump the playoffs? On. No. I, I remember jumping on his back, and he took me up with him. <laughs> I ain't lying, dog. And, and, and Kobe looked at me and said, man, what the hell is wrong with you? You trying to die? Like, Are you trying to die? He was, doing that, he was doing that to big man, too, not just you. I, was, I remember I was holding both arms. Like, I grabbed one whole arm. Because he, he did. I tried to take the charge. Like, I'm trying to take the charge, but he ain't run. So now I got to play defense. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, I'm just holding one whole muscle. Right, and the rep ain't got like rep. Call it, shit. Call it, like call this. I'm call it, call like, it. Too. Like, 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 like Shaq, Shaq and that motherfucker. Like, I'm like oh, it's just over with. God damn. We're the most physically intimidating person in our league for 15 years. The so ball had nothing so, to do with it. So, it's how you played so, me. So when a center, so when whoever you hit got hit once, 
they felt it and they never came back. That means bonus. every time you were coming, every time you're coming now, they're not there. That's an easier shot. You hit them one time, they're going to feel it. Look, I will say this: as many times as we all, because we've all come down and doubled you or had to play you at some oh, time, got hit. I'm surprised you didn't kill all of us. <laughs> no, I'm serious. America, because I did not intentionally throw the bows. Like I said earlier, I touched Come clean, it. Shaq. Shit, Shaq outweighed me by at least 90, 95 pounds. So for right. me, yeah, I don't mind. I'll, I'll bang with you a little bit. I'll bang with the big fella a little bit. But damn, the first time, the first time I actually banged with him on down low on offense and defense, I'm sitting in my locker room. Right, sitting in my locker, I got ice, ice, ice on my knee, ice on both my ankles, and I'm just sitting there like this. First of all, you are so physically imposing. They just can't stand up. Yeah. And force, and so they, they, to, get their, to get their center of gravity, they have, to, lower. They have to yes. lower their center of gravity. And, and that gets you hit in the head. That's know. Right. 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 Learn to do When they go like that, when they bend down, put all their weight, all you got to do is spin. Bend. So when you spin, they're off balance and boom. I touch him with it a little bit. <laughs> Just as a guard, you know, our coaches would always say, if Shaq gets the ball down low and you're coming to help, you got to foul him. And so every single game you had people. I remember one game you got it underneath, and I swung as hard as I possibly could. Took the elevator ride. Got you. Yeah, I took the elevator ride up. Felt like I broke my wrist. To my credit, you didn't get the basket. You had to go to the free throw line, which was our goal. He doesn't remember that. He don't remember you even hitting him. No. no. <laughs> You're right. But, you know. but, but my point is, for, you know, the refs had to deal with that, everybody intentionally fouling him. He had to deal with it. I think things could have gotten a lot worse if he hadn't been composed and, and able to, to deal with all that. <laughs> Shaq first came into the league, right? So I'm guarding Penny Hardaway out here, okay. and Shaq is posted. And I'm supposed to come back and double, okay? And I forget who was guarding him. I think it was... Um, uh, Buddha? No. Um, Beer. No, no. One of the... I think maybe it's Sally or somebody. It was somebody small, right? But stand behind Shaq, Reggie. I swear to God. I'm, 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 now I'm supposed to go back. Don't throw it in. Okay. I look back and I'm like, ain't nobody guarding Shaq! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't see the defenders. Like, like that's the first time I ever looked on the basketball court and somebody was standing behind somebody and you couldn't see them. I mean, I was like, oh, God, Shaq. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And tell me, what was your favorite Shaq story? So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and until next time.